Well, after more than a week, the tri-state camper caper uh, may be coming to an end, with the rains pushing the water levels higher and a stern warning coming from the Army Corps of Engineers. It appears the camper may finally leave the sandbar with one way or the other. Eyewitness News' Ryan Whitry joins us now with the latest on this. Ryan? The shores of the Ohio near Evansville have long been a home to aquatic attractions from the old Riverboat Casino to LST 325 to the Tri-State Camper Caper. But rain, rising river, river levels, and now the threat of legal action may just close the book on this latest chapter of Evansville's maritime history. For about a week, tri-staters from far and wide have flocked to the middle of the Ohio River for a chance to see and hang out with a camper mysteriously parked on a sandbar. But now, it appears the party's almost over. It just seemed like everybody was having a good time with it, but like anything, when you're dealing with a, a waterway like that, there's regulations and stuff that goes through the Army Corps of Engineers and the United States Coast Guard that a lot of people might not be familiar with. The Army Corps of Engineers say they found the person responsible for the caper and instructed them to remove the camper or possibly face legal action. Still, rising river levels could erase the sandbar, potentially sending the camper below the surface. Until it becomes an emergency, I mean, it's, we know it's there. If we do, we would get called, we kind of know what we're dealing with. Just the fact knowing that it's there kind of helps us pre-plan of what our response could be if something would happen. The Army Corps of Engineers did not release any names as to who put the camper on the sandbar, but there's no shortage of rumors. There's so many theories floating around that I don't want to speculate, but I got a pretty good idea, but I don't want to really say. Henderson City County Rescue Squad Chief Brian Coghill says he has a theory as to why someone would park a camper in a river. I'd say somebody just did it in all good fun, just to try to create a little news story around the tri-state area. It's still unclear if the camper will be removed or left for Mother Nature to wash away, but Chief Coghill says it's a good reminder for people to watch out for any debris in the river. With the water going to be coming up over the weekend, watch for floating debris, big trees. You know, a lot of these river camps, people don't secure their boats securely. They could cut, break loose and start floating down the river. Just slow down, keep an eye out for anything, especially a camper. The Army Corps of Engineers say placing the camper out on the sandbar violates a federal law set all the way back in 1899, and it could result in fines or imprisonment. Ryan Wittry, Eyewitness News.